Croton. How many varieties of Croton are there? I don't know. More than zero and less than a million. Uh, I probably have 15 in my yard, all of which, with a few exceptions, a result of me knocking on a neighbor's door and saying, hey, that's a cool Croton. Would you mind if I took a few clippings from it? And uh, every single time they said, sure. That sounds like a great idea. And what I normally do is I'll say, well, hey, I got a bag of sugar cane cuttings and I just thought you might want some of those, so here you go. And they're like, whoa, sugar cane? Seriously, you can grow that? I'm like, yeah, I'm just a planet. And they love it now. So I started a sugar cane epidemic in my backyard and then also in my neighborhood as a result. But the crotons are fun. This is one I bought. All right, so it defies the, the rule. This is a, I think they call this a gold. I'll probably stick my hand in a wasp net. That'll be funny to see me get attacked by wasps. Um, that would be the one that goes viral, right? Uh, crotons, they're just a, a shrub, basically, you know? And and this one's a gold gold fleck, I believe they call it. Gold fleck croton. Bought it at Lowe's. Pretty common. Planted it 10 years ago or 15 years ago. And... Um, it's just become this gigantic shrub and it's a beautiful, it's become a beautiful kind of centerpiece specimen in my yard. I'm going to turn it around so we can get a better look at it. I mean, look at the, it's got these cool flowers. These grow very easily from cuttings, by the way. If you, I, I would on this one put rutone and put in some perlite and try to treat it more kindly than uh, other cuttings that I've shown. But, uh, you know that that's just an amazing looking plant and uh, this one's getting quite large I could probably cut it back I, I hate to do it though just because it, it's so beautiful I'll, I'll, I'll stand back and show you it's it's near a, a fort that I built for my kids which they're always up in playing and it's near the gigantic papaya tree that grows far above it um, which at some point I'm gonna have to deal with it's getting too close to those power lines. But uh, my point is, this is a cool croton, and uh, there's lots of varieties. So in the area of um, the area of cool ornamental tropical shrubs to grow, uh, I could bike around my neighborhood and find 20 varieties in an hour, literally, and uh, you know just start growing them if I had more time. But this this is one that that geez, if you have a chance, I'd say. Throw, throw one in the backyard and, and grow it up because this croton is a winner <laughs> in my book and uh, very hardy. Uh, the cold weather doesn't even seem to phase it. I don't know why. I'm sure very cold weather would. So, okay. The croton. It's a wonderful, wonderful plant. And uh, I think you might enjoy growing one. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to like it. If you want to see more videos like this, I said in some previous videos, I'm, I'm going to try to go with a vlog format more. It's just, I, I think, a more, more uh, intimate way to communicate with the people that I'm talking to on the internet, many of which I, I like very much. We've had a lot of really great exchanges and I enjoy always the new information I learn about. And uh, anyhow, thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, like the video if you liked it.